What's going on guys? We're back here at our client's house. New construction build. Over the weekend, they got a lot done. So let's go take a look. So as you can see, they've done a lot over the weekend. They've actually sheetrocked the entire house. It's only on the first stage of mudding and you see you've got, again, the taping all the way through here. And you see those little white stripes halfway through that sheetrock. Those are where those nail heads are. And again, that's gonna be mudded and sanded multiple times. So you're not even gonna see those. Also, if you turn around here, you can see that this client has actually got a little niche for their dog. So some builders aren't willing to do any custom options, and this one was able to utilize some of that space underneath the stairs. Now we're here in the master. As you can see in the last video, all of this was open, kind of a skeleton view of what the master was gonna look like. You can see now the tray ceiling is starting to take shape. And again, you've got these hard corners right here that'll give it a nice crisp 90 degree angle on that sheet rock. You also have the vent return for the HVAC unit, and then two vents on this side, right above the windows right here. Now we're moving into the master bathroom. Now you can see the purple sheet rock is actually for water penetration, making sure that it's waterproof. If water does get behind that tile, or any of the backing that it's not going to create some mold long term. You've got two separate sinks, vanity sinks right here. And this client opted for a separate tub and shower combo. We're gonna head upstairs, but as you can see, this staircase is actually going to be refinished and stained to match the hardwoods that they have downstairs that are not yet installed. If this was not gonna be stained, we'd have more of a plywood look here. And I uh, just wanted to show you the difference between the two. Now we're upstairs in the loft area. This client actually chose to add a wall here to add another bedroom. And you can see if we spin around here, they haven't yet mudded that first set right here. So you can see all the nails and all the separation between these pieces of sheet rock. There's also going to be a pendant light right here that's gonna hang down right off the side of the wall. And up here as well, there's not a finished trim piece. So you can see that they're getting there, but over the weekend, they did get a lot done. They sheetrock this entire house and sided the entire outside, which we'll show you in a second. Well, on the side of the house, you can see there's some stub outs here for the gas unit that's gonna be here. It's obviously not here yet. And then you can see this right here. This is a good thing. I recommend not drilling this into the ground any further, A, because you don't want to mow over it, and B, you just want to know where it is. So this is for your lightning, it's your lightning rod. This is your unit for all of your water. There's gonna be a unit installed here. It's not yet here. This is all your guts essentially for your HVAC. It's not here yet, of course, but if we pan up, we can see the second story. That pipe that's coming out is one of the most important pipes you need to be aware of because if water starts flowing out of that, it means the emergency drain pan up in your attic is full and there's an issue that you need to take care of with your HVAC unit. 